Before this season, Ross Chastain was known as the watermelon farmer with an aggressive driving style that had found some success in the truck and Xfinity series. This year, the 29-year-old brought that same aggression with him in his first season with Trackhouse Racing, and it's paid major dividends, including his first and second career Cup Series wins at Circuit of the Americas and Talladega. While Chastain has been a surprising top story this year, consistently running up front and challenging for wins, another storyline has been developing in parallel. That driving style, which has been integral to his rise through the ranks, might have helped him win some races, but it certainly hasn't been winning him any friends. One driver after another has been involved in incidents initiated by the number one car this year. Denny Hamlin has had multiple run-ins with Chastain this year, and depending on who you ask, dispensed a small portion of retaliation at Pocono. Martin Truex Jr. has also been unhappy with how the track house driver has raced him a couple of times this year and made it clear during an appearance on Sirius XM NASCAR radio that life could become really hard for the number one team in the playoffs. It would be, uh, you know, occurring pretty regularly. So I think, uh, you know, with him down the road, he's, he's going to face those repercussions and he's going to have to, you know, learn the hard way, I guess. And I think, you know, what happened between us on Sunday wasn't, you know, necessarily, a, you know, anything he did wrong. You know, my car was loose. I got loose, uh, checked up, and he hit me. And then, you know, the spin, the spin and the crash was on. So um, I talked to Ross after the race, and I told him, yes, yeah, it wasn't 100% your fault, but it could have been avoided. So I don't know. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. I mean, some guys have to have to learn different ways, and, you know, we'll just see how it all plays out. But, you know, he's obviously fast and he's up front. He's running good. and He's just not making uh, – he's making a bunch of enemies, you know, and, and people tend to, to remember that stuff when the playoffs come around and things get heated. So we'll see how it all plays out. Truex made those comments back in mid-July. Chastain has added more drivers to the list since then. In fact, last month at Richmond, he added Truex's JGR teammate Kyle Busch. After the race, Busch talked about the trackhouse driver in a way no other driver had done before when he creatively converted his name into a verb. In our way methodically through the field with our m and Toyota Camry, and um, we got Chastain this week. We were his victim this week. Last week before Daytona and the final regular season race, Bush was asked if Chastain needed to have some give and take with other drivers to win the championship. Absolutely. Yes, you do. You need give and take to win a championship. Yes. Will he get benefit of the doubt in situations when it comes to time on the line coming to the end of the playoffs and going to Phoenix? Absolutely not. No way. No chance. I don't think people are paying him back yet just because they're waiting for the right time. While it's fascinating to see just how many incidents Chastain has had with JGR drivers, he hasn't limited his aggression to JGR and shared it with others, including Chase Elliott and Austin Dillon. Not surprisingly, he's developed a reputation in the garage. Even those drivers who haven't had any run-ins with the trackhouse driver this year are leery of racing around him. The perfect example of this came in early August at Michigan, when defending Cup Series champion Kyle Larson was presented with an offer from his team to partner with Chastain. Christopher Bell, Kyle Larson, could he work with Ross Chastain? Listen. If you and Ross can work together here, try to pull away. Huh. Ross, work together as anybody else. I mean, I get it, but it may help us both get away from those guys and then we can battle it out later. Larson declined his crew chief's advice and never worked with the driver. This past week, and just days before the start of the postseason, Larson was asked by Fox's Bob Pockris what he thinks might happen with Chastain in the playoffs. The Hendrick Motorsports driver didn't mince words. So, um, or yes, I mean, Ross has like a two-page list of guys, it seems like. So, uh, I'm, I, I know... Um, yeah, I mean, it's the Cup Series. I feel like you've seen it in the past. Like, it, it, people will make life pretty tough on you. So, um, in my opinion, I think you know, they're the if, – if they didn't have people mad at them, I think they'd be the championship favorite. But um, it'll be interesting to see and, um, and follow along with it. But, yeah, I mean, it, I can't imagine with, with everybody that seems to be upset with him that, that – will be an easy playoff uh, for him. 
Larson is the defending cup champion, and he hasn't had any run-ins with Chastain this year, but even he's predicting trouble for the number one team over the next 10 races. Chastain has certainly had a year to remember, and based on what everyone has suggested, it sounds like he's going to have a postseason he'd like to soon forget.